Golly, I, I just feel really uh, nervous. Um, I think I think I'm nervous because I mean, just really fortunate to be able to tell a little bit of my story. Most people retire and they walk out of the office. They pack pack their stuff up in a box and they walk out. I get to tell my story, and, and for me, it's it's that important. Um, I didn't want to do this, like, but I'm glad I got the opportunity as I was thinking about some of the things I wanted to say. And um, it was really just uh, things mostly that you're grateful for. Um, my journey started at about 10 years old here. I came into Gallagher Hall for the first time. Leroy had signed a national NIL. Was it NIL or NLI? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, they were a lot smarter back then. Um, anyway, uh, signed a national letter of intent, and, and I'll never forget my first trip into Gallagher Hall. Uh, they had these pictures up all the way around Gallagher Hall, and all these pictures were in, like, looked like 30-cent frames. You know, but it was the most beautiful thing I've ever saw, you know, uh, going down the, the hallway and seeing from from the guys from the early 20s to guys that were um, that I got to meet at a time uh, I got to connect with a lot of the wrestlers from the late 20s and the th early 30s. I got to connect with them when I was young, 10 years old, 12 years old, 14, when Leroy was wrestling here. And uh, I just can tell you this, that there was just a level of motivation that just saying, I can do this. You know, you're walking down the, walking and looking at uh, Frank Lewis, 1936 Olympic gold medal. You just made, a, made me believe that this is where I belong and this is a chance I can, this is an opportunity for me to capitalize on everything I ever wanted in the wrestling. You know, I, I was a highly motivated wrestler as a young guy with my brother growing up in Oklahoma, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the best ever that ever came through the state and um, coming to Oklahoma State. And, and for me, spending time in Gallagher Hall was just one incredible moment for a young kid. Um, and still today, Gallagher Ibe Arena, I can't tell you how much time I've spent in this facility from the time I was 10. I've lived in this facility. I literally lived in it when I was 11. I lived in the wrestling room during camps and during the summers and training and, uh, and all of it, just, a, just an un unbelievable experience. Um, you know, it just led, led me to do some things that were incredible. You know, I didn't make it, it made me. And that's, that's really how I want people to uh, know me and, and the way I want to go out is um, I got to be a part of something that's incredible. I got to be a part of a legacy. I got to be part of a, a something that when you get your ass knocked down, it's a lot easier to get up because of the, the program around you, you know, a um, lot easier. Um, and I, I would say that... Um, we were fortunate this year that we had the success of our program over the long, over the long years. We were fortunate. Uh, this team uh, this year was one of my most satisfaction, or most satisfying I've ever been as a coach, knowing what I got and then seeing what they did. And seeing what they did. And what they did is they wrapped their arms around uh, They wrapped their arms around Oklahoma State wrestling, and it took them all to another level. And not everybody has that, you know. I damn sure didn't start that. I sure helped to keep it, but I didn't start it. And so um, I feel really blessed that this whole, my whole career here as, as a young kid, as a student athlete, and as a coach, uh, I really feel blessed that I was, I'm part of something 
that I get to always be a part of. Um, and with that, I just want to talk about a few things. Coach Chesbro, Tommy Chesbro, who is my coach, really gave me a level of belief in, in skill and technique, really gave me a level of belief that um, uh, we, we win matches by, by our technique, by our skill. Work hard with, your, with developing your skill and, and be motivated about developing your skill. And, and I always took that with a passion. Like, I spent a lot of summers with Coach Chesbro from the time I was, I don't know, 11 or 12 till I was 16. I traveled all over the United States in a van, going from camp to camp to camp to camp. And, and I never once got tired. It was exciting. At, you know, here I am at 12 through 14, and I'm in New Jersey one week. I'm in Montana another week. I'm going over to Florida one week. And all of it was camps. You know, that I'm, I'm put out in the middle. I'm, I'm, I'm doing what Coach Chesbro's telling me to do. And I'm developing skill after skill after skill to show the students that are at camp. Um, he really gave me the, the vision of skill and technique. You know, if he didn't give me that vision, there would not be a low single leg. That, that literally, for those of you that know, it's, it's bought me everything. It's bought me my house, it's bought me my farm, it's bought me my other farm, it's bought me the cows, it's bought me my beautiful truck. <laughs> the low single leg paid my way, literally. They couldn't stop it. But it was that vision that Chesbro gave me. Um, and what a man, what a great man. See, silly things are done sometimes. And I always say the most silliest thing, thing that ever happened here at Oklahoma State was we losing him as a coach and the choices that people made going undefeated, taking second at nationals, you come back to get fired. Um, never sat well with me. Um, coach Joe C was my coach following Chesbro. And, and what he gave me is the idea of how you wanted to wrestle. Um, I'm going to speed this up a little bit, but he taught me how I wanted to wrestle and, and the style of wrestling that I wanted to wrestle. And he gave me the ideal of movement, movement, of moving your feet at all times and, and making sure that you pick your feet up at all times. And making sure that you're you're making you're you're putting the pressure on your opponent without ever touching them, you know, by jab fake and by by creating that 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 idea that I'm coming right now, you know. Um, he gave me that idea that helped me run with with something that was uh, really uh, um, helped me run right into my low single leg, right. Um, Appreciate uh, Chad as my AD. I wish I had time, more time to spend with him. Um, he's a great man, cares for people. This process, he's made it real easy for me. Um, and he cares. Yeah, he cares not just about winning. He cares about people. Coach Holder. I appreciate how tough he was for being a golfer. <laughs> <laughs> he should have been a wrestler. He's tough. His expectations were tough. Um, didn't like him all the time. I didn't like him all the time. Um, but. He cared about OSU wrestling, as Chad did too. Coach cared about wrestling, and he, and he he made sure I knew about it all the time. Uh, my coaches here, uh, guys, my peers around me is I don't know if it can get any better. We got some guys that want to be the best. You know, we got some guys that that are driven. 
Um, I'm just, it's been a pleasure watching you. You've motivated me, um, all of our coaches. It hasn't been perfect for some of you, seeing how you dig yourself out of a hole, a couple of you. You know, I just respect that. You know, not making any excuses, a team of, guy, team of people that don't make excuses. Um, I don't know if we've ever, ever had a better coaching coaches at, at Oklahoma State than right now, um, truthfully, you know, and I, I look forward for the next couple of weeks to watch uh, good friend Chris Young chase championships, chase the Big 12, and as well as our, our men's team, Dustin, to, to look forward to you guys playing the Big 12 and, and competing at the NCAA. Let's not forget about it. A great opportunity for us. Um, but anyway, our, our head coaches, I've been, I've been very motivated. Um, Martha McMillan, um, Martha McMillan was my advisor when I showed up here at 17. She's still in Stillwater. Um, but she really set me on a pace to where my academics was important. I'm not sure I had that when I came, um, but I had Martha McMillan. She set me on a pace that I wanted to do better. She helped me to do better. I remember I came back after my junior year, and uh, after my junior year, I won a world championship. And I had about 15 hours left, and I told her we're going to wait uh, and do them during the summer. And she goes, no, you're not. And I said, okay, <laughs> uh, you're getting your degree now. Um, and I don't know, there's just a couple things that she did for me. One, she made me scared. Yeah, scared of, make, can I do this? Can I do all this? Two, she was a supporter that motivated me academically and honestly made the difference in me quickly moving into a head coaching job. If, if it wasn't for her, I don't know if I w would have taken the job, been able to take the job when I did. Uh, my friends, my good friends, um, I've had a lot of good friends in Stillwater that also became uh, big donors for us. Um, and they know who they are, you know, and um, they were behind us. When we needed them, they were there for us when I needed them. Um, it's really fortunate to have people that, that have uh, such, a, uh, such a passion for the sport, and, as I do. Um, and then I want to say a couple of things about my first vision of an Olympic gold medal, and I'm going to talk about an OE wrestler that was a Sooner. Uh, Wayne Wells is really my first experience of really understanding uh, when he came back from the 1972 Olympics, um, watching on TV, uh, this was my first vision of this is something I'd like to do. Uh, Wayne Wells um, won the Olympics in 1972, wrestled for the University of Oklahoma. And, and ever since I've been, I can't remember small to him reaching out to me the other day about my retirement. He's been, he's been there. He's been there for me. He's, he's always motivated me. He's always been a guy that just um, cared more about the sport than the school. And my first vision of wanting to be an Olympic champion came at about seven years old when he returned home with the Olympic gold medal. And then, and then just in closing, just say this, is that I've had a couple of administrators that were over the sport of wrestling, uh, Dave Martin, Dave. Right back here, uh, Tony Petro, Tony. Um, you know, I don't know why, but um, for the longest time, we never had an administrator over our sport. I mean, at OSU, like, it just happened like maybe eight, ten years ago. I mean, I don't know. Uh, what a great idea of having that connection with people, and they're out looking, looking out for you. And, and they're making a difference. And I've had uh, two, two great ones. Um, 
And, and then finally, just I've been pretty lucky to coach two of my brothers. I've been lucky to coach three of my nephews. I've been lucky to coach two of my sons. Listen, that's, that's been really hard. When you're growing up in a family of wrestlers, when you got a, a rattlesnake for a mother, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and my nephews or my sons or my brothers are losing and you're the coach, it's been hell. <laughs> you can't say anything that she hadn't said. <laughs> She's a winner. She's always been a winner, Mom. Um, she worked at Mercy Hospital for how many years? 62. COVID hit. She stepped back. If COVID never hit, she'd still be working. And she worked in labor delivery. She delivered babies for 62 years. I'm proud of you. Uh, and just in closing, I'm, I'm grateful for... I'm just so glad that I get to walk away. I get to walk away knowing that uh, not what I did for anyone, it's what it did for me. What Oklahoma State, Oklahoma State Athletics, what it did for me. And I can't begin to tell you other than the short story I gave you how much it's been a part of my life and, and, and so rewarding, so rewarding to walk away going, this school made a difference in my life, my family. We've had the joy of the events. We've had the joy of the experience of living on a campus. Um, my wife's a graduate of Oklahoma State. My daughter's there, graduates from Oklahoma State. Um, I'm coaching a son now that will be a graduate of Oklahoma State. And we have a 15-year-old today. His birthday's today. Um, what was I thinking? No. <laughs> Thank you.